What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ace, and today we're gonna be doing a Twixter slash speed ramp tutorial. Before the video starts, if you want to support the channel, drop a sub, leave a like, and leave a comment on any other tutorials you want me to make. Today we're gonna to be doing it in Premiere Pro. So if you are looking for After Effects, let me know in the comment section and I will drop a tutorial for that as well. All my recent videos, I've been doing speed wrapping in After Effects, but all my videos before that, that blew up on like TikTok, YouTube and all that, I use Premiere Pro. So with, other than that, let's get into it. Alright, so this is what the speed ramp is going to somewhat look like. <laughs> Right, quick and easy very simple all right so first thing you want to gonna you want to do is drag in your clip get your audio i'm going to use the same audio that i used in all my other videos and before you even start editing anything you want to listen to your audio and mark it to mark it you press m make sure when you mark it you are highlighting on the audio um and yeah i'll get back to you once i'm done marking my audio all right my audio is marked the next thing you want to do is sync your clip up with the audio with the speed Skip over to the end here and find right before I kill him. And when you want to sync up your audio, what I go based off of as I go frame by frame, go frame by frame, you press the left and right arrow keys. I go as soon as these dots pop up or my character turns blue, that's where you want to sync it up at, right? So then you just drag your clip, cut it there, zoom out, make it shorter. Here's my beat drop right here. And then I just sink it right there. And if I drag it out, you see. That okay, on Sink just like that. I usually add a shotgun audio, but I'm not gonna do all of that for this tutorial. And um, yeah. So now my clip starts right here, which is perfect for the speed. Actually, no, it's not. It is not perfect for the speed ramp. Just give me one second to let me align that for you guys. All right, I got my clip all synced up, and so then all you want to do is add Twixter. Now, usually I nest my clip and then add Twixter, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do all that because you don't really have to. The only thing it does is just make sure that your screen doesn't turn uh, orange. Sometimes when you add it without nesting the clip, your screen turns orange or green or something like that, but this clip didn't have a problem, so I didn't even nest it, but I do recommend you nest your clip. And so before you start speed ramping, so you want to go down here, come to your Twixter, and then go to the beginning of your clip and then you want to press you want to keyframe your speed make sure it is at 100 before you even start keyframing make sure that's 100 then you want to go forward you can change it down to 20 or whatever we're not going to do that yet all right so once you got your clip synced up and marked what you want to do is you want to go to your first first mark i usually go back about 18 frames it doesn't matter it's whatever you want to do i go back about 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and you're going to want to keyframe that and i'm going to increase the speed to where i want my speed ramping to start i have a start right about here and you want to go to your mark you can hold shift and it's going to instantly magnet to your marks so you down shift and drag anyway so then you want to go back one frame before your mark keyframe that put it down to 20. You can put it down to anything lower than 100 and it'll be slow, but I usually choose 20. That's that's my go-to number. Then you want to go straight to on top of your mark, keyframe, put that to 200. You can make it any faster than that, slower than that, doesn't matter. I usually use a base of 200 and then I work off that. I'm going to go ahead 11 frames for this. You can go 8, you can go 5, you can go 3, it's up to you. But this is just how long you want your speed ramp to go. So I'm going to go 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, bam. You want to go one more frame ahead. Keyframe it, put it to 20. And if you play that back, it'll go slow, speed up, and then go back to slow. And you're basically gonna do that for every single one of your marks. I have about 12 here. And uh, as you go, you're just gonna keep adjusting it. So I'm gonna just go off the basis of 20 and 200, and then see what it looks like, and then fix it up if I don't like it. So you go one frame before your mark, keyframe it. Put it back to 200, go forward 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Go forward one more frame, put it back to 20. Go to your next mark. Go back one frame, keyframe it at 20. Go to your mark, keyframe 200, go forward 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Okay. Go for one frame, put it back to 20. You just want to keep doing this over and over again until all your marks are done. And you get to the beat drop. Back one frame, 20, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, and then I'm uh, I'm going uh, to get back to you once I have all of these keyframes. All right, now I have all of my marks sped up, as you can see. It goes fast and slow, fast and slow, fast and slow. And then, as you can see, right before this last mark, my clip did not make it to where it needs to be. Right here, at the end of the speed ramp, my gun needs to be out, and so I can slow it down and speed it up the speed drop. So in order to fix that, you go to a place in your video and you change some of the keyframes to higher than whatever you set them to. I set them to 200. So the one I'm going to choose is this one right here because I messed up right here just a little bit. So instead of 200, I'm going to do 300. All right, bam, bam. And then see where my clip is at there. As you can see, it's a little bit closer. I'm going to go up a little bit higher on it. I said 300, I'm gonna do 400 if I could find it. I'm gonna do 400. Right. So, right here, at the end of this, my gun pulls out. And as soon as your gun pulls out, you go to the keyframe where your gun pulls out. Right here, you wanna mark it. Right now, I got my speed on 20. For my marked keyframe, I mean for my marked, um, if I can get to it, what in the world? I'll put it to 10%. Because the B drop is really long. Hold up. I'll move these just so it's on 10%. There we go. As you can see, my gun is out, so it's on 10%. So if I zoom out, it's really slow. Right before your beat drop, when it goes right before your beat drop, I usually do about three frames. You could do three, five, seven, it's up to you. I do about three frames. I go back from one, two, three. Go back one more frame, four. Keyframe that 10. And then you're gonna have to boost this up to like 500. Go for your three frames to your mark. And as you can see, I'm just about to shoot them. I'm gonna do 550 just so it makes it. One, two, three. Bam, as you see, I killed them. Keyframe that. Go for one more frame. Put it on whatever percent you want. I usually do 50 after a kill, and just so it's sped up and it's on time. I mean, just so it's not too slow, but it's also slow. And then I'm gonna render this and show you guys what it looks like. All right, my video just finished rendering, and let me show you a preview of what it looks like. Okay, I'm As you can see, it's a little rough, but that is basically the just of speed ramping. And then after this, you can go in and you can do a little bit of like tweaks to all of your edits or all of your keyframes. But for the most part, that is how you get your video speed ramped. And yeah, that's about it for this video. You can also add stuff like beat shakes to it or blur or anything like that and it'll make the speed ramp uh, have a little bit more impact but yeah that's about it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and uh subscribe like comment uh for more tutorials and stuff like this peace